what is going on today, Psychic Red 13 with FKG. He hasn't actually seen the Magnificent Seven, I'm reviewing this today, but I need to catch up on my movie reviews, and these are just movies I bought, so I figured I'd review them. This movie came out in September of 2016, basically last year, and uh, The Magnificent Seven stars Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, and a bunch of other side characters that you're probably not familiar with. But basically, The Magnificent Seven is about Denzel, Denzel Washington. He's a bounty hunter, and he's also a cop in a bunch of different stages. And this girl, what, this girl's husband gets killed by this outlaw in the West. This is a, this is actually based on an old Western movie in the 60s starring Steve McQueen and everything. But this is like the remake of it. But basically, uh, she, her sure, husband gets killed by this outlaw and she recruits Denzel Washington to take him down. But the thing is, Denzel Washington needs to recruit other people because the outlaw has an army of guys. Now basically, he recruits people like Chris Pratt, which is like kind of the funny dude. He does like magic tricks and stuff to, like to trick people to kill him. Ethan Hawke to where he's like, he was in the Civil War, so he's like a really good shot, but he has nerve damage, so he, d he gets his nerve back at the end of the movie, though. And then let's talk about the Indian. The Indian is awesome with his tomahawks and his bows. Like, he can just be like, and just like kill you, like, instantly. He's like awesome. I know, kind of, probably looks stupid. But, um, let's talk about Denzel Washington and Suey. Denzel Washington was awesome. I'm not really a huge fan of Denzel Washington. But he was pretty awesome in this movie. Um, uh, let's talk about Chris Pratt. Let's uh, get over to Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt was pretty hilarious in this movie. He was a really good shot. The only thing that really sucks about it is he does die. Basically, most of the team dies except for Denzel Washington and the, uh, the Indian guy, I think. Ethan Hawke, amazing shot. The fat guy, he's kind of crazy, but he's really good at killing people. And then this guy, he's really good with knives. He can, like, throw knives out of his... He can, like, stick, a, like, a little tiny knife in his hair and then take it out and throw it. And then you got this guy who's just really good at killing people. But, um... Overall, I say the action in this movie... It's pretty good for a new. I'm not that. I'm not really that big of a fan of a western. But when I heard this one was coming out, I was just like, okay, I'm. I'm I guess I'm a fan of Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, and Ethan Hawke, so I might as well. I might as well watch it. And then I watched it, and I was just like, you know, that's pretty good. So I bought it on Blu-ray. And uh, I thought it, it says entertaining as hell, and that is true. That's Chris Pratt right there, by the way. Um, but. Uh, the, the action in this movie is pretty good. I mean, for a, I'm not that big of a fan of westerns, but this is definitely a western that I like. That's the thing with westerns with me. Some westerns I like, some westerns I don't. But um, obviously, the westerns with Chris, Clint Eastwood I like. You can't. You, how can you not like Clint Eastwood? But um, anyway, if I had to give uh, the Minifest a seven a grade, I would give it um, a C plus. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C plus four stars. I think I think that'll do. Um, but, see, because it's not my favorite action movie, but I'm going to give it a C plus four stars. Actually, you know, C plus three stars. C plus three stars. Um, but I really, de I really do, I really would re recommend The Magnificent Seven, though. So, if you guys have seen Magnificent Seven, let me know if you thought of it in the comments below. Subscribe to FKG's channel. Check out all the new movie reviews he's posting. And, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, sh uh, share the channel with your friends. Keep it cool, snakes. Bye-bye.